Hey, what's going on guys? Go Mikey Kings here. In this video we're gonna learn how to collect principal variation from our search. But before we start, let me uh, introduce a little inaccuracy I've made within the source code regarding the mobile range. So after we'll fix it, uh, we'll get uh, we'll have a slight improvement of uh, of the mobile range. So eventually the number of uh, nodes being traversed within the search would get slightly decreased. So if I just go to uh, where killer moves are getting initialized here, then uh, if you have a look at this code, you you will realize that killers are getting initialized every time uh, the beta cutoff occurs. But assuming that we're using this killer moves to sort quite moves and not captures, we need to do this actually only in the case if the move is quite move, so if it's not a capture, only only then. And to be honest, I have no idea why I didn't do this initially. So it's now just just the right time to do it. But before this, let me just open the terminal and show you the difference. So if I just say make debug and run the BBC binary executable as is. So here we got the number of nodes uh, being traversed. So remember this number, and even now just at this logic we'll have that number being decreased. So uh, I can say, uh, let's say on on quiet moves. So if and get move capture uh, is equal to zero. So if it's not a capture move. Uh, and the move itself, this one, copy, paste. So only in this case we would like to initialize our killers. So let's have a look. There now would be a difference. So last number of nodes. So we had one nine two seven seven nine. Now now we have one nine one two eight eight. So it's it's been decreased. Okay, and now we need to do the same. Uh, with history moves as well. So if we just put this, uh, well, we don't even need yeah, curly braces, so just straight ahead like this. So now we should get this number decreased even more because, yeah, so uh, 288313, well, not significant, but still, if we go deeper, this number would get increased even more. The, the difference would, uh, would be bigger. Okay guys, so this was regarding this minor inaccuracy. I don't really want to call it a bug, but just inaccuracy. And now we can actually go to implement our principal variation. So uh, the uh, so what we're supposed to be implementing is known as triangular PV table. So PV stands for, for the principal variation. And the PV line is uh, this is, an, is this is an example of what is known as PV line or principal variation line. So we have first move, second move, third, fourth, and so on. And this is the layout of uh, triangular PV array uh, and how it how it it's getting mapped. So here we have the first move, second, third, and so on. And when we when we would be storing the moves, we would be storing uh, we would be using two dimensional array and indexing it by and uh, indexing both. Uh, in the indices by ply, so uh, we would be writing this move kind of diagonally, like if PV table index by ply and by and, and by ply again, and then we would be copying uh, the move from the deeper ply to the current ply uh, uh, line, pr principal variation line, and then we would be copying this right over in here, this right over in here and so on until we get this one eventually. But again, it's really easier to show rather than to explain. So without further ado, let's actually go for our implementation. So the first data structure we'll need would be known as PV length, and it's literally what it is. So integer PV length uh, would be equal to, oh, sorry, it's not equal to anything. It's the array of up, of up to 64 elements, uh, so like the number of plies here. And also the PV table, uh, and this would be integer PV table, 
and this would be the two-dimensional array so in order to avoid complicated uh, index calculation with this principal variation table uh, like some programmers usually do the, well this is known as the qu qu quadratic approach when we roughly double the uh, uh, the array size by using this uh, number of plies basically so that's just uh, an easier implementation it takes a bit more memory than needed but we just have uh, have this implementation much easier and now let's actually try to embed this within our source code so if I just now find where the nigamax starts then here uh, at the where the nigamax starts I want to initialize principal variation length so in order to do this I need to say pv length uh, indexed by the ply is equal to ply and by the way the uh, implementation I'm using here is, ten, is taken from the TSCP chess engine by Tom Carrion so um, that's kind of the source uh, I'm taking this implementation from that's the reason to give a credit to that engine uh, I really love this solution it's a simple straightforward uh, using, using global variables just like I love and uh, well uh, I really like how it works and how it looks as well okay and now we need to go to the place where alpha value is increasing so here right over in here and just below uh, below this line we want to write uh, principal variation move uh, to the principal variation table so in order to do this we can simply say pv table indexed by the ply here and here so we can like go in diagonally like uh, I've been mentioning already and this would be equal to our move so let's pick the move okay and this would be equal to the move like this and the next thing we want to copy uh, move from deeper ply into a current Plies uh, line. So in order to do this, uh, we first need to look over the next ply. Uh, something similar to the technique we've been using within uh, move sorting, uh, uh, within the move sorting, but not the same, but slightly f f similar. So uh, I'll create the in integer called next ply, and it would be equal to ply plus one and then next ply would be less than pv length indexed by ply plus one and next ply plus plus uh, well actually this commentary is better to, to put here and here I just want to say we want to loop over the next Apply. and here uh, I'm referencing the PV table indexed by ply and here uh, indexed by the next ply and it would be equal to PV table and now attention please indexed by the ply plus one and here indexed by the next ply like this okay and finally we want to adjust a uh, principal variation length so principal variation length indexed by the ply would be equal to principal variation length indexed by ply plus one and this is it basically so the very last thing we need to do is actually to retrieve this sort of a principal variation so in order to do this I just want to add PV here and now I want to loop over the moves uh, within a principal variation line and in order to do this I need simply to say for int count equals to zero count is less than pv length indexed by zero as well and count plus plus 
uh, and here first I want so actually I want to print the move print PV move and just call my print move and PV table so the very first row uh, contains the entire principal variation line and here we're indexing this by the count and I also want to add a space after every move and at the very end I want to print new line so print f and the new line now let's have a look at the principal variation it should now get extracted okay so let me quickly check this so e2 takes a6 okay e6 takes d5 okay c3 takes d5 b6 takes d5 e4 takes d5 where is e4 yeah e4 takes d5 well it seems to be it seems to be just okay uh, so from now on we can actually get rid of our nasty best move and uh, okay and uh, use the principal the move from the uh, principal variation as as the best move so I just want to find my best move definition okay so I don't need this one so let's get rid of it and then we also don't need so let me just search for our nigamax just want to get rid of the redundancy so I don't need this best so far I don't need old alpha okay uh, and now here where the alpha increases I don't need to update this so far I don't have this anymore save and here so no more best move no more best move and here I just want to uh, use the move from the principal variation table so PV table and 0 0 so that's the very first element within the principal variation table is is our best move and let me just see check that out if I did everything correctly okay best move best so far two seven five nine oh so that's another place I need to get rid of okay and now it should work the same and I'll put the same move okay e a2 a6 okay guys so the very last thing before we, we run this video uh i just like to check this within the arena gui to make sure it's working properly there as well and then the next video will go to ordering uh we, we would be ordering our principal variation moves okay so let's make a new game and well uh actually first i need to exit from the debug mode and compile this for release just to make it faster a little bit okay okay and now just update the engine's path so details updating the path so collecting principal variation this one okay so okay and it now should be printing principal variation okay and it actually does bring the principal variation which is really good so uh let's see how it's playing yeah and every time it makes the move it actually does print the principal variation which is quite pretty pretty not that bad at all well okay guys so this is it uh from my side regarding this video in particular uh, and by the way, yeah, you see like uh, it started playing a more reasonable moves after we've changed uh, the move order in like uh, uh, added this uh, killer and history most initializations after um, uh, Only in case if that is a non-capture so uh, only if the quiet move 
is there, so it already started playing a, a bit more reasonable moves compared to the previous version. Okay, so just wanna have one one last glance at where where this fix occurs. So yeah, so if get move capture equals to zero and equals to zero, so it's if this is a quiet move then we do initialize this. Okay guys, so this is it from my side. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something interesting out of it. I hope to see you in the next one and there we would be sorting our principal variation moves in order to improve our move ordering even more. And I'm going to be doing that the easiest way possible and I really hope you'll enjoy that. So uh, hope to see you in the next video. Until then and take care.